Our house is under attack and now we must defend it. Can my little brother Milo and I survive the terrifying mutant creeper attack? I hope so. Look at our amazing new house, Milo. It's so beautiful. I'm really excited to move in. Me too. It's going to be great. But wait a second, Chip. Look behind you. Whoa, it's a giant cave. What's that inside? Milo, that's a mutant creeper egg. A mutant creeper egg. I'm so scared now. Me too. That means a mutant creeper is somewhere around here. Where could he be? Wait a second, Chip. Look at all the mobs inside. Oh my goodness. They must be his minions. Why are they attacking us? Milo, it's because it's daytime. They're stuck inside the cave. But when it turns night, they're going to attack us and our brand new house. Oh no. Now I'm really scared, Chip. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Milo. I have a plan. We're going to defend our house from the mutant attack. How are we going to do it? Well, we're going to build a bunch of traps and defenses all around the house to slow down the creepers, kill off the mobs, and make our house the most secure base ever. Okay, let's get to it. Let's get right to work, Milo. The first defense is going to be a giant lava moat all the way around our base. Wow, I hope this is really safe. Me too. I'll dig the trench if you place lava inside. All right, I'm going to place so much lava. I'm really good at this job, Chip. Good job, Milo. Milo, we're doing great. Soon the creepers won't be able to get past. I hope they don't jump over. What if they're really good at jumping? They better not make it. I wouldn't want to fall in lava at all. Let's see if I can jump over. Wow, I did it, Chip. Good job, Milo. You're an acrobat. And done. I can't believe we didn't notice the creeper cave in the first place. Yeah, I didn't see it anywhere on the application. Yeah, they lied to us. This is really risky, Chip. I don't think this lava mode is going to be good enough to keep all the monsters out. Don't worry, Milo. This is just the start. Milo, you're stuck on the other side. Wait, how did I get over here? Don't worry, Milo. I've got a plan to get you back and to build a sneaky trap to get these monsters and the mutant creeper. What's your plan, Chip? Well, I'm going to place two spruce slabs here and two right here, and then we're going to put some trap doors in between them. Oh. This looks really simple, but just watch. Oh no, there's fire. Wait, I don't think we can use spruce for this. I don't think we can either. Iron is so much more secure than wood. Wow. And we're going to add redstone on top of it that links up to a crazy sneaky lever that we can flip to trap the mobs and make them fall in the lava. Wow, this is really cool, Chip. How do we know if it works or not? Well, like this, Milo. Chip, I'm in the lava. Get me out. Now that we've got our bridges secure, I think it's time to make the inside a lot more tricky for these mobs to get through. Why are you holding soul sand? Well, Milo, we're going to turn the entire floor into a bunch of soul sand so they get really slow. That's really smart, Chip. I like this idea a lot. Thanks, Milo. And you can help me. If you get soul sand as well, we can place it twice as fast. I'm going to do a really crazy pattern over here. Milo, that looks ridiculous. What is that? It's a really cool pattern. At school. It looks like you're trying to play chess with the monsters. I wonder if the monsters do like to play chess. They probably play mutant chess because they're mutant creepers. I'm feeling a bit nervous about nighttime, Chip. I don't know if these defenses are going to be good enough. They will, I promise, Milo, because we're going to use berry bushes, Milo. Berry bushes? Is this for us to have a snack later? No, Milo. These are poisonous berry bushes, and they're going to prickle and poison the mobs that try to get through. These mobs have got no chance of beating us. Our house is already so secure. It is, but we need to cover it in these things so it gets super secure. All right, I'm going to run around the edge and put berries Everywhere. Good idea, Milo. I'll erase you. All right, I've done my side, but Milo, yours are so patchy. What? Mine aren't patchy. Milo, don't eat the berries. They're poison, remember? But they're so delicious. Milo, you're going to be sick. And done. That's looking so much better. It does look amazing, Chip. If I was a monster, I wouldn't want to come anywhere near this place. Oh, yeah. Especially not if you were a mutant creeper. Mutant creepers, you have to stay out. Totally, Milo. I'm just trying to think. If I was a creeper, what would I be scared of? Milo, why are you playing pretend right now? Well, if I was a creeper, I would mostly be scared of cats. Wait, Milo, your silliness gives me an idea. Really? Yeah, we can spawn a bunch of cats down and tame them. Look, it's my pet. Yay, we're going to have so many pets. This is such a good idea. We can make a cat army to stop the creepers from wanting to come inside. Hooray! I've always wanted a cat army. Let's spawn so many down. 
<laughs> Me too. I'm gonna build some of them watchtowers so they can keep an eye out for the creepers. These cats are gonna be secret agents and they're gonna keep us really safe. They totally will. But Milo, make sure you tame them so they don't run away. Okay, I'll tame this one. Hi, cat. Your name is Johnny. Wow, that's a really silly name for a cat. This cat is called Whiskers, and this cat is called Mittens. This cat is called Bim Bom. Bim Bom? That's so silly. It sounds like Bing Bong from Inside Out. Yeah, that is what I named it after. Wow, so you copied? That's not nice, Milo. Okay, well, I've already done 10 million cats, and you've only done three. Well, my cats have towers, and hey, you've done three as well. Well, now I've done four, dum-dum. Milo, you're so silly. All right, these watchtowers are looking insane. <laughs> more watchtowers than that if we really want to scare off all the creepers. Hey, then why aren't you building any? Because I'm not very good at building. We all know that. Oh, yeah. I remember the last time you built something. It did not go well. It really didn't. Remember when the whole place collapsed? I do. That was terrible. Don't do that again, Milo. I think I'll stick to building this for now. Well, now that we have the berries and the soul sand and the kitty cats, surely we'll be okay, right? No, Milo, there's still some other things we need to make in order to be safe from the mutant creeper. I know something else we can do. Have a look at this, Jeb. Really? What is it, Milo? So many cats in our house! Milo! Oh my goodness, what if someone's allergic? They're just gonna sneeze all inside our house. No allergic people are allowed here. If you don't like cats, you're not allowed to be my friend. Hey, that's mean, but okay. If it's gonna protect us from the creepers, I'm all for it. These kittens might be a really good form of protection, but the best kind of protection is armor. Are you gonna build an armor dispenser? You bet I am, Milo. We're gonna make it out of dispensers, and we're gonna get one each. Wow. Now that we've put the dispensers down, it's time to fill each of them with a bunch of armor. This one's gonna be a chest plate, and this one can be leggings. And done. We filled all the dispensers with armor, and now it's time to add a pressure plate and a fence. This one's orange because it's mine. Huh? What does the pressure plate do? Well, why don't you give it a go, Milo? Just walk into the dispenser. Are you pranking me, Chip? No, I promise I'm not. This is going to be really cool, Milo. All right, let's see it. And... Whoa! I look awesome! Yeah, you do. You look awesome in netherite armor. It frames your big eyes really well. I feel so powerful. Chip, I know we've been working really hard, but are you sure this is going to be enough? Um, well, let's look, Milo. We've got a lava moat, a trapdoor bridge, a bunch of poisonous berry bushes, some soul sand, some cats, and an armor dispenser. I don't know, because the sun's going down really fast and... I'm getting really scared. You're right, Milo. I think it's about to happen. Quick, we've got to go put on our armor. The sun's going down so quickly right now. We better do it fast. You're right, Milo. Whoa, I've got netherite armor on. How do I look? Really shiny. Nice diamond armor, Milo. Thanks so much, Chip. But wait. Wave one is starting. Oh, my gosh. Already? The mobs are coming. We've got to make sure they don't get past our defenses, Milo. But they're shooting at us. They're getting us from a faraway range. That's because they're skeletons. Wow, this mutant creeper has a lot of powerful minions. He's summoning so many. This is really bad, Chip. Oh, yeah. Take that, skeletons. But, oh, gosh, there's a creeper, Milo. And wait a second. He's running away from our cats. Oh, they're nice and scary. That's good. It means it's working. This is great. I wonder if the mutant creeper will be scared of them. Hopefully, Milo. Oh, maybe we need mutant cats. Yeah. Wait a second. Chip the creepers. They're running from the cats, but they're running towards our base. Oh, gosh. Let's take them out, Milo. Quick. We gotta get them before they blow us up. Don't let them explode. We did it. We killed wave one, but there's still a lot more coming. And look at all this damage. We're gonna have to do a lot of work to protect from the next wave. We've gotta add some more defenses. If those mobs got through so easily, the mutant creeper won't have any problem. But I don't have any more ideas of what we can use to protect our base. I do, Milo. We're gonna use the mob's own attacks against them. Show me, Chip. That sounds awesome. If these creepers wanna blow up our base, then we're gonna give them explosions. TNT explosions, that is. What? TNT is so dangerous, Chip. You can't be putting it around like that. I think it's so dangerous that even the creepers are going to be scared of it. Maybe they won't want to walk over it because it'll blow them up. That's the plan, Milo. But, hmm, how do we know these are going to work? Uh -huh. I think we have to test it. But if we test it, it's going to blow our house up. No way, Milo. I've placed it far enough away. Not even. Watch this. 
Oh, Milo, be careful. Wait, how do it feel so good? Ooh. That was so cool. And it made a huge explosion. We need to patch up this hole. We do not want any mobs being able to hide down in here. That's true. If they hide here, they might jump out and get us when we least expect it. That would be terrible. And done. The TNT is now back in place. That's better. I actually really like this idea, Chip. Me too, Milo, but ugh, there's still a bunch of item drops over there. We've got to clean them up. Ew, <laughs> these mobs are so messy. They dropped all their trash all on our property. Milo, I don't think all of this is trash. Wait, what do you mean? The skeletons dropped a lot of arrows, and Milo, that gives me a really good idea. Huh? If these skeletons want to shoot us with arrows, they should expect to get a bunch of arrows right back. This is a brand new state-of-the-art automatic arrow dispenser system. What? What's it gonna do? It's gonna dispense arrows that'll get the skeletons back every time they try to shoot us. Wow, that's gonna be so crazy. I would hate to be a skeleton right about now. Uh, yeah, me too, Milo. All the complicated redstone is now done, and we just have to fill all of these dispensers with a bunch of arrows. We are so prepared for wave number two. I'm not even worried anymore, unless... What do you mean? Well, what if there's a mob in there that we haven't seen yet? That's a good point, Milo. I guess we should build one more defense that they haven't seen yet. Yeah, let's do it. And I think I know exactly what that final defense needs to be. We need to build a super duper huge army of iron golems. Iron golems? There's no chance the monsters are gonna beat us now. No way, Milo. I'll make sure they lose. Chip, can I put the pumpkins on the head? No, Milo. We're not gonna put the pumpkins down just yet. We need to put item frames and then put the pumpkins inside. That way, in the heat of the battle, we'll be able to run and grab them and activate the golems. You go put the rest of the pumpkins on, Milo. All right, Chip, I'm on it. <laughs> I'm going to flip one of them upside down. I think that's going to look so silly. That guy looks freaky. What if when we spawn him, he spawns upside down? That would be so scary. Maybe it would scare the mutant creeper away. I think I'd be scared of any upside down golem as well. Wave two is starting, Milo. On guard. I've got my sword ready. Me too. Oh, whoa. There are way more mobs this time. Chip, I'm feeling scared even with all of our new things. Me too, because look. I swear I saw something new. Look, there's silverfish. Silverfish? I hate bugs. Get away from me, silverfish. Me too. They were not there before. Yeah, they were. They triggered the TNT. Oh, gosh. And they triggered the other TNT. Stand back, Milo. I think we might need to activate the golems before they get too close. Good idea. But they're getting so angry, Chip. I don't like these silverfish at all. <laughs> me neither. They suck. And the craters look kind of cool, but uh, I'm glad our cats are okay. Yeah, our cats are so brave. They've been protecting us from all the creepers. Oh gosh, another explosion just happened. Milo, look out. Chip, I'm trying to be careful, but I don't think this is going so well. Wait a minute, the iron golems are scared of creepers. Hey, stay back, creeper. Get away from my golems. Iron golems, you need to be braver than that. This creeper's stuck on our soul sand ring. It's working really well, but we've still got to take it out ourselves. I'm going to get this one over here. Good job, Milo. I'll take this one down. Whoa, it nearly blew me up. These creepers are such scaredy cats. Just like our real cats. But they're not scared. They're bravey cats. Yeah. Come here, zombies. We'll take you down. Oh, my goodness. Milo, we've defeated wave two. Chip, that was a really close call. You're right. Our defenses took a lot of damage. I don't know about you, Milo but I'm kind of excited for wave three. I'm not excited at all, Chip. I just want to go run and hide. I guess running and hiding isn't a terrible idea. That actually gives me a really good idea. Really? What is it? We're going to build a giant security watchtower. A security watchtower? What good is that going to do? Well, if the mutant creeper makes it past all of our defenses and we need a place to run, we can go up this watchtower and onto a secret weapon. A secret weapon, Chip? I don't know if that's a good idea. We'll just see about it. The watchtower needs to be strong if it's going to be able to carry the secret weapon on it. Is that why there's two poles? Yeah. The frame of the watchtower is now complete. We've just got to make the floor. This is looking pretty cool, Chip. If I was a creeper, I wouldn't come anywhere near this. Yeah, me neither. Now, let's just add a big fence around so we don't fall off. Oh no, the iron golem blew up one of our TNTs. That means we've got to hurry. At the back of this watchtower, I'm going to build a platform for us to build the final secret weapon on. I still don't know what you're building, Chip. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you, Milo. I'm going to show you. Oh my goodness, Chip, that is amazing. 
I know, I used all my observers, slime, pistons, glass, redstone, glowstone, sticky pistons, dead coral tube fans, and TNT to make this thing. Wow, it's so complicated, I can't believe you just did that. And what it does is even cooler. Once you get in, it acts like a plane and it'll launch us right towards the mutant creeper cave, dropping TNT along the way. Does that mean it's gonna destroy us? It might, Milo, but that's the price of staying alive. That's true. If we have to sacrifice our house so that the creeper doesn't get us, I'm all in. And I'll add a little staircase right at the back here, just so we can actually get in this thing. We finally managed to put all the TNT back. Thank goodness. Because the final wave is starting. The mutant creepers are coming. Look. Chip, they're so scary. I can see them coming closer and closer. Me too. Let's activate the automatic arrow dispenser. That's a great yeah, they'll never get past that. Whoa, Milo, they're actually... Ow, the arrow dispenser got me. Chip, you need to be more careful. Wait a minute. Oh, gosh, it's launching. This is insane. It's so powerful. I don't think the cats are doing very much. Oh, goodness, they're not. These guys aren't scared of cats at all. Maybe if we lead them in front of the arrow dispenser, they'll get hurt. Now, I and golems are doing nothing at all. Oh, no, Um, I'm in the cave with the TNT. i got to get out of here. Chip! I'm trying my best to get all the creepers, but they're blowing up around me. I'm taking so much damage, and there are baby creepers as well. What is even happening? We need to try and kill as many as we can. Milo, I don't think we're going to do very well. We have to retreat. I just got stuck down in one of the craters. Okay, let's retreat. We've got to try and make it out of here alive. I hope we can get up the ladder in time, but they're hitting me. Oh, goodness. I've got to try and make a way through. Wait a minute. It's blowing up. This guy is so scary. Chip, he's too tough. I'm not going to make it, I don't think. Oh, there's got to be a way. I see an opening. I'm going to take it. Oh, goodness. I'm so low on health. I can't believe I'm not dead yet. Hopefully, they don't try and attack me. I can't believe we made it through all of that. That was so scary. I know, Milo. We've got to quickly get up onto our TNT airplane. But how do we get up there? I brought blocks that we can bridge with. Okay, I'm gonna climb up behind you. I'll go in this left minecart if you go in the right one. I'm gonna jump into the minecart. I made it. Good job, Milo. Oh gosh, the baby creepers, they're chasing me. Get in! All right, now I'm safely inside the minecart. I've just got to break this redstone block and we're going to be flying through the air. Quickly, Chip, we don't have much time. You're right, Milo. Okay, I'm gonna break it right now. And we should be going... Whoa, the TNT is dropping, Milo. Look. That's awesome. I can't believe we're getting the zombies. Wait, look, the mutant creepers. They died. Oh, yeah. That inception is working. This is incredible. It's so powerful. We're taking out every single one of the mobs. And look, we're heading right towards the cave. I think we're going to be blowing that up next. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, mutant creepers. I hope none more come to attack us while we destroy their whole cave. Good. We did it, Milo. No mutant creeper is ever going to come attack us again. We survived. We're the best in the world. Oh, yeah. And wait a minute. No, our house got destroyed. Our poor, beautiful house. Guess we'll have to rebuild another one. Oh, yeah.